Back here to the Sports Mix on Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10. Nick Verzellini alongside me, Kyle McLaughlin. We're now joined by uh, the former Jefferson Boys basketball head coach, Richard Lewis, who will be leaving Jefferson for St. James. Coach Lewis, how are you today? How you guys doing today? We're doing well. Uh, coach, doing good. you're uh, making the transition now from Jefferson to St. James. Uh, what made you come to this decision, and, and why was this the time to leave? Um, it, it was an opportunity that came up, um, you know, just looking at kind of like the tenure at Jefferson. Um, I've been there uh, 13 years overall, 12 on varsity, and I won on JV for one year. I've been in the county, um, actually, at Jefferson County for 23 years um, at some capacity, uh, middle school, um, before high school. So I've been in the county for a long time. I've kind of uh, came up through the county, and I've coached a lot of kids in the county, whether it be uh, the middle school level or high school level. So um, I just kind of looked at uh, situation um, that opened up at a private school um, that I'm familiar with. I got some ties too, as far as um, my playing days in high school myself. So um, I wanted to kind of see what the interest was um, from them, and also kind of what the program direction was and the school's direction and what they had to offer. So I wasn't really looking to leave. It was just one of the things I was kind of inquiring about, um, and then. In, inquiries turn into a little bit more serious talks, and those serious talks and ended up me taking a job um, on Friday. Coach, first off, congratulations on uh, your next job at St. James. Best of luck. Uh, just want to go back to, I guess, the decision process when you were learning about this uh, offer. Who were some people maybe that you talked to and thoughts about pursuing this job at St. James and then a little bit later on down the road, uh, what was the conversations like with your assistants at Jefferson and then uh, players at Jefferson as well? Yeah, it was, like I said, it was something like more just of a, you know, an inquiry. Um, and then I met with the uh, athletic director over there and um, we had some discussions um, over the past um, couple weeks and um, never really got an offer until early last week and then was notified that, you know, that was, I was the, I think you said they had 23 applicants and um, I think they had really like 10. So he just said, you know, they offered me a position and I had, you know, pretty much like four or five days to kind of come to a conclusion if I wanted to leave Jefferson or not. So it was one thing that happened kind of quickly. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't a long process. It was a quick process and, uh, you know, it came to that decision. Um, on Friday, um, and I, you know, in, informed uh, my athletic director Dave Vines and um, my assistants um, on Friday that I was leaving, and then talked to the players on Monday. Um, and when it was summertime, so we had a handful of players um, there, but um, we had, you know, kind of, we just kind of finished our three-week window. We went to Philadelphia, went to Virginia. Um, play at UMBC team camp. So we had some things going, um, and we had just finished, and we had the dead week last week. So we couldn't meet with anybody for a whole week. Um, so we just kind of reconvened on Monday um, as planned. So we just kept things going um, and kind of talked to some of the players there and let them know my decision. And uh, like I said, a lot, a lot of thought into it. Um, I know you probably read some things. Um, um, over maybe over the internet, but it was a lot of thought put into it, and you know it's it's kind of hard to leave. You know, Jefferson, I'm like the longest tenured coach there, um, and then also four five wins away from being the all-time winningest coach. So that was kind of difficult to walk away from. But you know, I didn't get into it to be about me. Um, it's really about the kids and I'm um, in the program and the community. So it's one of the things that I just decided. You know, that's not that important to me. I think we accomplished enough as a as a whole. Um, over the past 12, 13 years. When you look back on some of those accomplishments, uh, Coach, what to you are you? What are you most proud of about your time at Jefferson? Um, I, I'm just you know, thankful, like you know, just the community. Um, Coach Darkey, who gave me the opportunity, uh, I've known him since my Shepherd days. Yeah, you know, I didn't play for him, but I've known Coach Darkey. Um, just through through uh, pass bys, and he called me over um, when I was at Wildwood um, across the street, 
And I was in Charlestown before that. So he just said, you know, you want to come over and get the job. I'm retiring next year. And and you can get the job if you come over this year probably. So it was one of the things where I just kind of came over to be an assistant for a year and got a job. And, and you know, just kind of looking back at that um, process, um, it was it was something that, you know, somebody believed in me and believed I could turn the program um, into a winner and help with help of everybody around me, um, assistant coaches, community, administration staff, uh, players, the most important part of it. Um, so I, I'm, I'm just proud of, like, where Jefferson um, is at right now um, and how attractive the job will be uh, for the next person. And the biggest thing is, and we talked about it, you know, all the time that we wanted Jefferson to be, you know, on the map as a basketball school in the state of West Virginia and being one of the top five teams in the state. So I think that's been accomplished the last, you know, four or five years. And um, throughout the tenure, we've we've, we've uh, been ranked in the top ten, you know, multiple times now. So I think that's what the, the vision was from the beginning. And I think that's been accomplished, and that's that's the proudest thing um, where the program is today, and how established it is when you say Jefferson basketball. Coach Lewis, you were Jefferson as the head coach for 13 years. As you said, you leave as the second most winningest coach in uh, school history, which I saw two separate numbers on how many wins you were at, but that's neither here or there. You also are the only coach to win a state tournament game while at Jefferson, so clearly a big legacy that you will be leaving behind to move on to St. James, and as you mentioned, whoever picks it up will hopefully pick it up in a great place and continue to take it to even greater places. To be able to do that, though, in your mind, what are some things that they're going to have to accomplish? I'll just be resilient. Um, I mean, like, you know, the players that we've had, you know, over the past four or five years, um, and we've had over the past my tenure, you know, just to stay resilient, uh, keep working. Um, I think, you know, come in with a plan and stay to that plan. And I think that's the key is consistency. Um, whoever takes over the job, hopefully um, that's that's their plan, to be consistent. Um, I think that's what, um, between me and the coaching staff and the players that, that stay here, um, they've been consistent. We've been, we've been consistent. We've uh kind of stayed the, the course, you know what I mean? Even things when things weren't going right um, or proceed to be going right at the beginning or through some of my tenure, uh, we just stayed consistent, never never, never waver and was positive um, knowing that, you know, you have a solid plan and you're going you, you to gonna, you gonna overcome some of the obstacles um, and this constant work, you know, constant work. It's, it's A lot of our players that play at Jefferson, they put in a lot of hard work. People don't see it. If people don't really know about it, I don't really talk about it as much. Um, and maybe some other coaches do, but they put in a lot of work in the all season um, and also in the preseason and through, during practice to really get better. And you guys see how we play, so that's not easy to do if you're not putting in a lot of a lot of, a lot of condition and a lot of time into your body and, and sacrifice for every, for the team. So um, that's the biggest thing: is being consistent, um, hard work. And you know, being 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 here for the long haul, maybe five years, maybe a long haul, maybe ten, but that's going to be the key to uh, um, overcoming some ups and downs. Because uh, not every year is going to be like it has been for the past four years. Um, and then you know, the, like I said, having an undefeated season um, up until the state tournament, first ever. That's that's something that nobody ever thought would happen. So you just got to be lucky as well. Coach, you head to St. James, a program that has struggled the last few years. Uh, when you look at the winning records, um, haven't had a winning record since 2017, 2018. Um, so this is a new challenge for you. Like you said, you're leaving a Jefferson program that's become one of the best in the state. How do you get St. James uh, back to where they once were, and uh, what are some things that you hope to uh, bring there? Um, I guess the, the biggest thing, like I said, consistency. Um, try to bring some consistency there. Um, um, go about the business the same way, um, whether it be on, you know, through on the basketball end or off the court um, or out, out of the season. Just 
coming in with a solid plan on how we're going to go about business and work. You know, um, the wins and losses will take care of itself. I think that's just how I kind of always looked at it. Um, but the message and everything has to be the same. So that's kind of where I want to want to come in and establish that. You know, we'll we'll eventually get to a winning place. I'm not sure if it'll be year one or year two or three or four, but um, my my plan is to come in and build a program. Um, whether it's having a freshman program and a JV and a varsity, my plan is to come in and try to build all three levels, um, starting with the eighth grade through twelfth grade. Um, that's one thing we're fortunate to have. Um, a grade starts in high school over there, so you can have a graders play JV or freshman. So, starting that program and trying to really, you know, get those numbers to the point where um, we can start establishing, you know, a program. You know, I mean, that's kind of where I want to start. Um, and then also, like, I know they haven't had a winning record since 2017, but not really look at wins and losses, but just kind of look at, well, are we competitive and are we challenge, we're challenging teams every night? So that's kind of going to be my, my vision. And um, being able to recruit is going to be something different. So that's something that you're able to do um, there um, without having any kind of penalties or anything. So that makes it a lot, a lot more challenging as well, um, seeing where you can go with that and what, what type of families you can attract. Um, well, it's been a high academic school. I'm trying to get um, those families to believe in not just the program basketball, but the school um, as well. Try to achieve, you know, something greater for themselves. But um, that's gonna be that's gonna be something interesting um, as well. As being able to recruit and um, bring in some families and, and players that uh, that can really play and really help the community and the program. So I think that's where I think you can we can make a big 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 difference in transition. Coach, you mentioned that recruiting being a, a new aspect of this job, and it kind of leads into my next question. Um, with the transfer rule that was approved in the state of West Virginia, you know, obviously recruiting wasn't allowed, but there was probably some things going on behind the scenes or whatever the case may be, and uh, it did kind of bring a new challenge to the coaches because they didn't know when players would leave. Um, I guess just how much of an impact maybe does that have on your decision here as well, that knowing that you'll have control over the program and, and know what players are going to be uh, there year in and year out? Well, people still want to transfer, so um, you won't really have control over that per se, but, you know, it didn't really have much to do with my decision um, to leave Jefferson or or, or go to St. James, um, the transfer part, because that's, that's a part of sports as a culture now, whether it be from college all the way down, so it kind of, it's kind of like the new thing. The new cool thing to do is transfer, you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of um, going to be a part of sports and part of the culture, so you you, you kind of look for that every year now um, in high school. So I think uh, that didn't really have anything to do with my decision, but um, overall, West Virginia, you know, it's an adjustment for everybody. You're going to, you know, even me, um, might have some transfers here or there. I'm not really looking to get a whole bunch of transfers. I kind of want to build it from the ground up. But I think um, that's going to be a part of the culture um, over there as well as here as for the next you know, foreseeable future. All right, Coach Lewis, before we let you go, what's your final message that you want to give out to the uh, Jefferson High community? I just want to thank. Um, the administration, um, this group, and Mr. Vines, and all my past ADs. Um, I had, I actually had, uh, I, I counted, I had five principals and four athletic directors there, so I want to thank all of them for working with me, um, working with our program, helping support us. Also, the, the families um, in the community that uh, supported us in the businesses as well. I want to thank them because without them, it wouldn't have been possible. Um, for us to travel and do some things over the years. And then lastly, the players, um, all the players I've coached at Jefferson, um, we've had some great players um, over the years, and we've had some hardworking players as well, and players are going to college. So I wanted to thank them for all their hard work and uh, making uh, Jefferson basketball, uh, like I say, one of the top um, basketball schools in the state and putting Jefferson on the map and Lastly, just working um, hard for me and the coaches, and I want to thank all the coaches and assistants I had over 
the past 12 years as well um, for, for all their hard work. Um, leaving, you know, leaving, like I said, leaving Jefferson um, in some good hands. And I think uh, Jefferson will be in a better place as far as uh, the next head coach that goes, uh, goes in there. I think they'll continue to, the winning ways at Jefferson. I think it's not going to it's not going to be a, a drop off. It's just going to be um, a consistent um, program from here on out. So I think uh, I'm really proud of everybody that chipped in, and I'm really proud of uh, the work that I've been a part of over the past 12 years. So I just want to say thank to everybody, and want to thank you guys too for covering uh, covering us religiously over the last four or five years and having a lot of good things to say about um, Jefferson and me as a whole. So I want to thank you guys, um, and also. Um, you're welcome to come to St. James whenever you want. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. <laughs> Thank you, and uh, best of luck at St. James. I'm sure we'll see you guys have a, a few Berkeley County teams or Jefferson County teams on the schedule next year. Yep, definitely. Plan on doing that in the future. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks a lot. Coach Richard Lewis leaves Jefferson for St. James, and we wish him the best of luck. This is the Sports Mix on Talk Radio, WRNR and TV 10.